this is exclusive solar systems nigeria from the trust in africa lagos abuja we about to get 100 kv lectures as built in our on our new site and our diagram here listen carefully by learn one or two things so this is diagram as built and uh, we are proud to present to you our company logo in case you need more you need your own solar system by vitals or you need the concentration that colors just like that for more for more technical ideas advice who free of charge don't pay money don't pay okay so this is our this is our for the other kv this is our graph for the other kv as you can see we have uh, our batteries here we've got to run this very fast these are in 100 kv you need 90 batteries minimum 90 batteries one but we all know one battery is 2400 watts we got it by 12 we apply the current and the voltage the current is where our, our my supply by voltage 12, 12 volts give it for four hours but by international standard law vod that is the depth of the charge you need to use only 50 percent so when i use 90 batteries 1200 watts multiplied by 90 it gave you 180 uh 180 kilowatts worth 180 kilowatts about one right okay sorry 108 kilowatts precise so and you and you, and you need 90 kilowatts or 80 kilowatts so all right kilowatts is a perfect one it's a good one for for your power bank for the 100 kv these are the batteries you can see what is it series in series they parallel they parallel them to give you the what you want you want that 108 kilowatts power bank then after connecting them series you take them you read it with your clamp meter your vote meter you check the voltage and because normally your inverter should be 360 v this in so your 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 battery static batteries Size 12 V to be 360, but you know, good batteries will be 12 V to 13 V. Let's use 13 V. Let's use 13 V to be 390 V. Here, read it. I ever, 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 ever touch should be 360 V. It will take you 360 V and above, below, just like that. So, when we test it, after testing it, then you now connect to your inverter, just run your inverter and set all the parameters. Of every inverter, is inverter, three sixty V, hundred KV, hundred KV inverter. Mm -hmm. The after test running it, the inverter is working fine. We will the after the meter. They collect the same battery power bank to your controller, your CC. Call it CC or charge controller, solar charge controller, three sixty V, VDC two input. Uh, but your PV, your PV, your PV must be, uh, let's say, seven and above, seven and above, maximum for the controller. So, don't go on the by it below, six hundred V, PV input. Uh, but call it zero C V, call it battery input. This is, a, this is a controller, you take it to your controller, you check your controller reading. By now it should be 360 V to 390 V or 390 something, 96, 400 V. Then, after you confirm your, your controller is really well, by now I'm sure your man is on the roof working. Other men is on the roof working. So these are the panels. You, you know, actually, we need. 100 watts panel to charge one battery, four to five hours pixel. 
So right now, we have about uh, about 180 80 batteries all together. 108 batteries. 15 is series. 15 is series, 15 is series. About 60 pallets to charge one power bank. We want to set up power bank. Yeah, that is a, a 30 battery series. I have that set again. Look at the other set of panels. It is test, test set of panels. Test sets. You can see first, second, third. First, second, third set of panels. Which is, uh, which is one right panels. 60 each. 15 in a row. They parallel, parallel them. There you have uh, your combiners. Combiners. You have your PV. PV breaker line, PV breaker, breaker, is this breakers? I have a breaker for PV line, just like that. They take them to the combiner, first power bank, combiner, just like that. They take in your, take your, your type of controller you use. But if you say you look for three amp. All four uh, um, uh, controller is very difficult. I get it. So you use this side that has a uh, three port, hundred uh, amp each. This is our controller we have. We have here. I see it port one, port two, port three, and take the controller must be MPPT. MPPT. M MPPT. Look at it. MPT, meaning maximum power point tracking controller. Tracks the PV from get which extract the maximum power from the PV wherever the sun is eating. Extract them. And then because I add static state efficiency to your system, current your system, far better than the PWM, which is a boss with the modulation controllers. So then you take a panel to your port one, first the panels to your port one. It's got set to your port two, just set to port three. Before then you, you know you already got your battery to your controller. Then your battery let's say your battery your battery, your controller was ready to the system, three ninety before. But after adding up the PV, all your breakers, all your breakouts, all your breakouts, you see Breakouts. B stuff for breakout. You see? Stuff for breakouts. Then put all your breakouts. Your already might have been above 360 by now. It will be if it was 390, maybe above 390, like 400 or 400, 420. Don't be panic. That is the normal reading. That shows that it's charging. As the PV has power. Enough current to charge the batteries. Charge the batteries. So observe your reading as it as your battery increase. The battery current increase. After then, power your inverter. Test run it. Test run it with other bulb. You can use your meter to read it. The output. It says test run with fan, bulb, and other thing before you start powering your house. All the equipment, all the machineries, hey, whatever you power with the other KV inverter. Start, you don't load all your full load once, you load them gradually. Maybe 1 KV, 5 KV, 10 KV, 20, or so you load it to the maximum, which is 50 percent. But uh, for good advice, professional advice, what you've done after the last few donkey years, a power back to lost him more years, you need to load maximum 30 percent. 25 percent recommended. 25 percent, 30 percent, 30 percent maximum of the other KV. In case uh, you want to manage, you know, you must manage that other KV. Yeah, I have to KV alone, no problem. I can still apply it. But don't let it go above 60 percent, 60 KV or 60 kilowatts to be precise. Because the power, most of the inverters are, are producers are using uh, 0.8. PA. That's the power factor. When when that's zero point eight, meaning 80, 80 kilowatts inverters. 
put it on a kilo, a thousand hundred kilo, eight, eight kilowatts. You only see ninety kilowatts, hundred kilowatts, hundred kilo, hundred kilo. You only see it. We need to be frank as it's here. So, forty percent, forty kilowatts, fifty kilowatts, sixty maximum. If you keep your water on time, you keep your power bank, keep your batteries, you keep your batteries. Only batteries are two hundred amps each, twelve volts. So we we'll destroy your system your load for like 5, 10, 15 years observe 30 minutes. If there's any issue, we adjust. We are set your parameters and everything before you commission your job. So subscribe to our channels. Subscribe please. Subscribe to our channels. Subscribe to our channels. It's like I receive a lot of our next videos. That will be Maybe fly from field or the field job. Life on field. Life on field. Subscribe, oh. subscribe. So you can go on the next video. You get a lot. You don't need to go and switch yourself. Your phone will alert you. Give me notifications. You see, read the social media, subscribe bar, your YouTube. Your YouTube there. Close your library. Click it. You see the new video. They play it. For subsequent uh, videos, jobs. This is the new job we just did. So, maybe 150, 200 kVA to 1 megawatts will be coming up. All that smaller videos will be coming up later on. Thank you for listening.